Hey guys, uh, Luke here, um, aka Stone Mosaic, and I'm back for another comic book review. This time of DC's Imag Greatest Imaginary Stories, Volume 2, featuring Batman and Robin. Um, this contains, I think about um, 11 stories, probably about 9 of which um, have to do with um, Batman marrying... Uh, uh, Kathy Kane, uh, aka Batwoman, and then um, she subsequently learns um, that Bruce Wayne is, is Batman, uh, and then also um, goes into their son Bruce Jr. becoming the second Robin when uh, when uh, Dick Grayson takes on the role of Batman. So you have Batman 2 and Robin 2. So the vast majority of the trade uh, consists of those stories from the Silver Age. And a lot of them are kind of, kind of repetitive um, in that Batman 2 and Robin 2 are always getting captured and the original Batman, occasionally uh, Batwoman, have to put on the old tights again and um, basically uh, come to the rescue. I don't mind if, if a few stories are like that, but when pretty much every story is like that, it gets pretty tiresome. Um, and plus, I'm, I'm not really a fan of the whole Silver Age in general. I mean, I think, I think it's alright, and, you know, it's certainly important for the uh, history of comics, but it's never something I would go out and, and, and actively buy. I just got this because I thought, hey, it seemed interesting, I got it from the library, so whatever. Um, more interesting to me are a couple of uh, the latter issues. Um, let me slow up inside of here. Uh, the Bride of Batman, which originally appeared in... Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane, number 89, from January of 1969. That one was uh, pretty good, and I thought, thought it was sort of a good good melding of Silver Age with a little more of the, the Bronze Age, a little, a little more, more modern stuff. It's pretty interesting. It features the gimmick master who tries to find out Batman's secret identity. Superman, of course, he was roped in because of Lois Lane. That was uh, pretty good. But probably the best one, if I can get it here is the last Batman story from Batman 300, June 1978. And that one, let's see, written by David Verne Reed with pencils by Walter Simonson. Uh, Simonson definitely had, had the best art, in my opinion, of the whole book. I definitely like, like that style more, the uh, sort of the more quote-unquote realistic style of the 70s. You know, Neil Adams, Walt Simonson, that style I, I really liked. And... Um, the last Batman story was was pretty good. It had kind of lame villains called the Spectrum, all these different color-coded uh, villains sort of running around um, doing nefarious things. There was, there was some sort of like space hospital. It was a little convoluted here and there, and then toward the very end, you sort of see the people who are pulling the strings, and it doesn't quite make sense. It's, it's really kind of convoluted and weird. Um, but if that's the kind of story you're looking for, if you're looking for something... Other than your standard Batman Robin tale, definitely try uh, the, the uh, Greatest Imaginary Stories Volume Two. I think there's a Volume One, but I think that one was sort of a an amalgamation of a lot of different DC characters and not just Batman and Robin. Um, but anyway, I thought this book was was alright for for what it was. Um, can't say I'll go out and, and you know try and track down these in issues individually or go out and buy any Silver Age trades, but you know. It was right for what it, what it was, which is some entertainment on a Saturday night, you know. Um, so, overall, I give DC's Greatest Imaginary Stories, Volume 2, give it a 3 out of 5 stars. Decent, but not sure it's really something worth going out to and start buying, you know. If you, if you can get it from your library, check it out. If you like it, buy it. But if not, hey, no harm, no foul. Um... Now, that being said, I do have, um, I'm trying to think here, what, what am I going to re re review next? Because I have all these trades back here that I want to review, but I still have a couple library books. So, let me run over and grab um, what I'm going to review next. This one shouldn't take me quite as long to read, so hopefully I'll have the video out Monday or Tuesday. Star Wars Adventures, The Will of Darth Vader. 
This is a kind of skinny hardcover. A bunch of different Star Wars Adventures stories. I think they're a little more kid kid oriented. Um, but I'll give it a shot and give it a review and also talk a little about some of the other Star Wars Adventures books. Spoiler alert, they're not that great. So hopefully The Will of Darth Vader is going to be better. I think it's the only one I haven't read yet. So, also Vader comes through in the clutch, but um, not holding my breath, but I could be wrong. So anyway, um, that's all I got for you guys. Um, the uh, Star Wars book, I'll, I'll be re reviewing that probably Monday or Tuesday. It's a pretty short book. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, happy reading.